Let's get my dudes. My name's Straylot. Welcome to Penumbra Necrolog. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long for this. I'm really hyped. I hope you do so too. Let's get into this. And only you decide what to do with this story. That's how the previous, that's how recommended to consider it ravings of a madman or a horrible fate of a friend. Fate that you wouldn't wish on your enemy. Talking about red, probably. I love how it starts with the typing, just like the previous games. Whoa, relax. We only just started and already it's freaking me out. Oh my gosh. I'm really Everyone excited. Everyone can plan one step ahead, but it does not mean that everything happens the way you've predicted. This actually looks pretty good so far. To find my father to Especially considering that it's um, fan But I was too late. With my own hands, I killed all of my friends. I did not even get to see them. That's true. We Only never got to see Amuel or Red. voice never left me. Always irritating the unhealed wounds of my soul. And finally, I found a way to destroy it. But even that was not the end. It's never the end for Philip, is it? Dungate is the reason for everything that has happened to me. I see. It showed me its world and started to trust me. But I betrayed it. It was yet another of my mistakes. Well, we all make mistakes, so that's why we're all human. This miraculously didn't make me lose my mind, but miraculously. now I feel like I'm going insane after all. So then you did lose your mind. PTSD, right? Post traumatic stress. It's, yeah. Something like that. Hey! It didn't crash! Monkey! Clarence Monkey. is back. Monkey, are you there? Can you believe it? As soon as I saw the word monkey. <sighs> you finally woke up. How did they get the voice actor from You're probably a little surprised surprise that I'm back in your head. Yes, I I'll say you frankly, if I do something other than what you want, it isn't because I want to kill you. Okay. Yeah, I keep saying that you're too stupid to leave because you're a brainless amoeba. Thank you. But hey, think for yourself. Okay, I will. If I wanted to kill you, I would do it as easy as I did with your blithering friend Swanson. So was Clarence's fault then? Don't you forget that I'm in control of your senses? It sounds similar to the voice actor. And now listen carefully. Like it sounds the same, but not the same. I am sick of sitting in your loggy head. Now I still prefer to go forward, not sit still. That's go fantastic. ahead, monkey. Okay, I will. I will go ahead. So we're still in the mind thing then, from Black Plague. Oh, whoa, this game looks so beautiful now. Oh my gosh, I mean it looked beautiful beforehand, but now it's like, I guess it's because it's an amnesia mod, so this is what Penembra would look like with amnesia graphics. Oh my gosh, it's so upscaled, it's actually insane how beautiful it looks. Whoa, that's beautiful. So this is like an amnesia custom story type of thing. Not yet, I need to think. Just like a black plague, does that mean I have to right click on the calendar? Let me first hit my psychic vision. That's right, psychic visions are back. Am I alive, or is it a dream? Does it really matter anymore? Not yet, I need to think. Okay, then let's think. Some weathered newspaper clippings. Oh, okay, it's different this time. Wow, it actually is incredible <laughs> to be back. What the hell? Oh, a flashlight. Glow stick. It doesn't give any light anymore. What? Jeez, is that all my blood? That's just beautiful, isn't it? Well, at least I got the glow stick. And they sort of got the inventory the same. Notebook. This should be good. Does it have battery? Oh crap, it does. Uh, I hate it when it's like that. Oh, there we go, finally. I've done enough thinking. Oh my god. What? I'm so glad you're alive. How are you alive? I didn't hear a word from you for a whole day or so. It's not even the same I'm voice so I have. I'm glad you're alright. Sorry, not but I have to move constantly. That's why we haven't met yet. But you died. By the way, it turns out that I'm not infected. I left a note for you back then. It was so silly of me. So then that I'm was sorry. an Amabel that Clarence maybe yes, killed? Clarence just maybe a notification from the main core of the shelter yesterday came on my shelter. computer. Well, on the computer which is near me. Uh -huh. It appears that someone summoned some kind of expedition, and they're searching for survivors right now. 
They're sending a signal to all computers in the station, to people like me and you. Yeah. Don't lose hope. I'm getting And immediately nice move tonight. to them. So, I hope very much that we'll finally meet, and then You're going I'm to... going to kiss you. Yes. That's Good much luck. better than a hug. I'm sure it Honestly. helped you before. Yes, paper girl. <laughs> For sure. I'm so glad we're finally getting a kiss. Uh, Our works are being nice and appreciated. Actually, your eyes are not deceiving you. Either you believe me or not. You mean yes, she's still alive? I played a little with you, but only at the very end. And if I did this at the beginning, we both would be here now, would we? Smacking this chair so much. So fun. take my word for it. It okay. is a great pleasure to see how you're suffering and writing in pain. But I don't want to disappear just because of your stupid monkey can't understand simple jokes. Fuck you. <laughs> That's my reaction to What? Oh, I thought I teleported. The door changed. My head keeps spinning. Where did Clarence come from? Is Amabel really alive? These questions are stuck in my mind. There is only one thing that is perfectly clear. I'm alive, and I've got a chance for salvation. Oh, sorry. I'm very excited. So the baby girl is still alive, and this time she's giving me a kiss, not a hug, which is really good. You know what I mean? She's like, if you get me out of here, I'll give you the biggest hug in the world. Like, dude, I'm running from zombies to get a hug. <laughs> no, at least a kiss. I'm glad she heard what I said last time in Black Plague. She took that into consideration. Appreciates all my efforts now. Is now gonna. So, based on the fact that you're infected and I'm the most reasonable person here, I can sure God. say this corridor's changed a bit. Let's play. You find the way with a mile, and I'll give you a shiny penny. You asshole. You fucking asshole. I saw the flash there. Where am I supposed to... What the fuck? Oh, cool, another safe station. Oh, you son of a... There we go, I need to get used to that. What's this? Map of Arctic with illustrations. Psychic vision. Psychic vision! Okay. It's a radio. Video killed the radio star. <laughs> Good one. Sorry. There's a bathroom. What? I don't remember the bathrooms looking this beautiful though. I'm actually surprised. It's actually a pretty lovely room. Can I please find a glow stick? I got a tape. A cassette. So I need to find a shiny penny or is he just messing with me when he says that? I'm not sure if that's an actual mission. Oh fuck off. Oh! Jeez. The dog's back? Should have seen that one coming. It came out of nowhere. That is wonderful. How that works, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Because I don't know. Let's go this way. Wait. Beautiful, isn't it? Very beautiful. This is where we left the girl. Isn't she here still, I wonder? Photos of the research team, very distinguished. That's a fancy way of saying they're full of shit. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Sorry. Laughing at my own jokes again. Huh. Can't believe my eyes. I can't either. How did that happen? It's not Amabel. What have we done? Everything. Oh yeah, that still works. Should I put my hand in the toilet again for old time's sake? There we go. The foreword. My name is Walton Rowley. Oh, Rowley. Sorry. Until now, I have been dutifully doing my job despite the risk and danger. I haven't managed to get far away and all that's left for me is to hide in my apartment. I worked in the examination room. My task was to study the organisms which were found during the expeditions. The horror began with the infection outbreak the day we opened the Turngate tomb. First, they brought me a couple of dogs which were found in the old iron shafts during an expedition to search for a new passage to the tomb. After examining them, I found that they were subjected to some sort of mutation. The dogs, I remember. 
Everything looks so unusual that I could not determine the cause right away. After a while, the infection passed onto humans. A small community which had been united by one goal, which took decades to apart entirely in a few months. This nightmare lasted about six months and is still going on today. One day they brought... Yes. Me a corpse of an infected human. I was told that I had to study it and find an antidote. It was the first time that I saw this monster with my own eyes. During the examination, I made recordings and took photos. I studied the blood structure of the infected, which gave me the first lead to finding the antidote. Even after a couple of weeks, I still couldn't get used to the presence of that corpse next to me and get more and more terrified each day. And another fact shocked me. The body of the infected didn't seem to degenerate. It only changed skin color. After another, oh, uh, he's like, I thought it was like a zombie. Oh, but it isn't, because it isn't a king. After another couple of weeks, I developed a formula, but it was too late. Almost all members of the staff were either dead or turned into these monsters. My two colleagues were the last living people I saw today. They decided to go to the generator room and hide there. I don't know what happened to them. I collected all the supplies I could find and decided to lock myself in my apartment. For the past few weeks, I've been sitting in this room and listening to the frightening silence. Day 16. It's impossible. I heard footsteps in the hallway. They didn't sound like the steps of an infected. Must have been me. I learned to be very careful these last weeks, but maybe this time I was too careful. I might have lost my chance to find a survivor. Day 17. I heard a noise again. This time I thought it was coming from the examination room. It sounded like a large number of living beings had gathered there. I don't know for sure if I'm right, but it looks like this is my chance to escape. I might even find my colleagues in the generator room. If they are all still alive, if I'm staying here, I'm going to die anyway, either from starvation or from the clutches of those monsters. I'll gather up my strength and make a run for it. I'm imagining. No, that's definitely footsteps. Okay, it's gone now. How the fuck haven't I died yet? If they are still around. Oh fuck. Okay, I need to chill. That is crazy. I don't know where it's better here or this. Oh! Okay. So I'm meant to go down then. Oh, cool. What is this fucking Call of Duty? That's the way it looks now. Damn, that is beautiful. That's the sky. Can you believe it? Fuck, this is interesting. The tension is really building. I can tell you that much. I'm still freaking out. I'm shaking as I'm playing, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Finally, another Penumbra horror game. That's what everyone has been wanting. This is what Requiem should have been, but wasn't, you know. Great, into the sewers. Don't you just love it, going into the sewers? I just fucking love going into the sewers. I'm in the showers. Why did my voice crack? But I'm in the showers. I guess I'm a dirty little shit. And I need to get cleaned up. Maybe I can use this broom to scrub my back. I have no idea. Seems like a pretty good idea though. Whoa. Great blood. Well that helps. This is another door. This place is a literal maze. Oh jeez, don't fuck with me like that, please. Whatever I press, the radio still doesn't work. So another one of these things. A soldering iron. The soldering handheld tool used for heating and melting components during soldering. Oh, not for there. Yay, diary entry. More reading. The news of the epidemic reached me at my workplace. Fortunately, all these horrible things are happening at the top. <laughs> okay. And it's unlikely to affect any of the technical facilities at the lower levels this age very poorly. Like this one. The collector is the only place where I can feel relatively safe. There's heat in here as well as electricity and the required amount of drinking water. The residential sector can be reached through a network of sewer tunnels. But the infection most likely has already affected it. I leave this refuge only to replenish my supplies. All this time I've never seen a normal human being. I have to find some communicating device like a radio receiver. That's what I need to do, I'm assuming. Finally, got it. The radio is exactly what I needed to finally contact someone. I had to get into the infected area, but it was worth it. 
Also, I grabbed a few components for it because it was faulty. I have to take a break and begin repairs. Why not just begin repairs straight away, you lazy little bit? Sorry. A couple of hours have passed, I don't know the reason, but my condition leaves much to be desired. I feel extremely dizzy, and it's hard to think. I'd already been having small bouts of sickness, but I thought it was just fatigue. When I took off my shirt, I found strange spots in my body. It looks like I've been infected too. Oh no. Does that mean I'm gonna run into him over here at some point? Oh, rosin. Oh, because we're gonna need to. Now I could solder. What must I solder? I got nothing to solder for the moment. Oh, cool. I ro Whoa. Can I move this thing? Can I move the chair. Hopefully the chair will help. Cable. Drugs. Psychic vision. Yes, yes. Batteries. So there's still someone down here and now Capa capacitor capacitator can you pass the taters come on mom please pass me the taters oh cool a wire time to create a wire transfer what made me think they go together I don't know I'm just spitballing here this is one door that I don't mind being locked you know, I think I agree with you on that one, Philip. At this point, I'm in the same position. Let's repair the radio. Come on, video killed the radio star. Oh, there we go. What if I press the radio it still doesn't work? What about now? What about now? What about now? There we freaking go. We got the radio working. Holy shit. Sorry, I'm excited. What? 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 Did it work? No, I don't know. You tell me. Hooray! Yeah! I managed to do it. Yes. They will not find about it soon if they need it. Philip, hi. Is this red? Where is your companion? Who, despite all the hardship, does not it's bring red. the thread of friendship. <laughs> Just do not worry and do not drown in your own poop. Thanks, you helped me twice, and I will not yes, deny I have. you my help, my friend. Thank you. You can think of me as your guardian angel, saving you from the do. clutches of demons and rippers of justice. Quoted your that guests from the first are game. circulating like the juice inside, drunk of consciousness, and the shadows are putting, taking roots in its foundations. But I'm sorry, I cannot talk very long. It's fine, Red. Just hear I've your voice. I've only got three minutes to get out of here. Beautiful. Goodbye, pal. Wait, you're alive somehow. <laughs> Fan made mods, am I right? And now I just fainted like a little bitch. Hey, can anyone hear me? We've I'm come to boss. save you. We found that someone survived on the station. We'll try to fight for your lives. Thank you. My name is Julia Kwan. I'm an operator, and I'll Jailer inform you of Kwan. our movements whenever I can. Stay in touch. I will stay in touch. Oh, I can I'll stay see in touch with your eyes. Gently tickling your ears. But wait. What do you mean, wait? Don't you think that you've gotten yourself in a very stupid situation? Not really, Claire. You've got a virus inside you which can make everything out of you. And you decided to go to your fellow apes. Yes. You want them to scare in the time away. Chim in the time of chimpanzees, I was a monkey. Okay. So, no, they ain't the my fellow apes. apes. And I'm starting to mess around with your brains till they understand that they were wasting your precious time on you. They'll do it. Oh, yeah. And I take care of it if you suddenly forget that the Uncle Clarence prefers to liberate from the menageries with foolish, undisciplined macaque. I'll just tell them I'm not infected. Oh, no. Oh. Jeez. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. No way it's a fucking rock worm. I'm out of here. Oh, wait, I can go up there? Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. 
There's another way out of here. I first want to save. Okay, it's locked. Hopefully for the right reasons. Hope not for the wrong reasons. There's a lot of shit over here. This thing is heavy. I wonder if I can go through there. Oh, I can. Where is the psychic vision? And there's another trapdoor. Damn, it's a lot of trapdoors. Oh, is that the water? I can't see the bottom. I should not dive there. What about now? There we go. We solved the water issue. That's pretty good. I feel like that's still really hard for them. Oh, they're bloody down. Oh, let's go down. Make sure it isn't spooky. Okay, it doesn't seem spooky. Oh! What the fuck, Clarence? What the fuck? I thought the turn game be with the boys. Uh, that was so fucked. Just that on its own. I'm out of here now. Oh cool, has the same ladder glitches in Requiem. An overture. Black Plague. Well I fix the water thing. The pipe. Wow. That's probably the most scared I've ever gone in a Penumbra game. Oh, thank goodness. A psychic vision. I can end this episode. Holy crap. Oh, I'm back here. That's interesting. Psychic vision. Ugh. Damn. Well, dudes, I've been recording for 40 minutes, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. it helps me a lot. We hit 308 subscribers yesterday two days ago which is fantastic so thank you to all of you for that thank you for being a part of this i'll see you in the next video check you later dudes head smash shit there's a body ah! Ah! wait fuck off. fuck off i wanted to talk yeah. Yeah. Get big punch. i punch your dick i punch your dick ah!